what colour is the liquid flowing through your veins, arteries and capillaries? Trick question. It's not blue or red, but technically it's actually yellow. The blood that you see when you cut yourself looks red because it contains millions of red blood cells. But the fluid which the blood cells are suspended in is actually yellowish or straw coloured. It's called plasma. If you were to spin a blood sample really fast or centrifuge it, you would soon find that plasma makes up about 55% of the volume of blood. And plasma itself is actually 90% water. This means it's perfectly adapted for its transport function. So what does plasma transport? It carries red blood cells, which themselves carry oxygen, and white blood cells, and platelets, and nutrients. The nutrients come from the food we eat every day and include amino acids, vitamins, fats, sugars, and fatty acids. These key components are used to keep us fit and healthy. Plasma also transports heat throughout the body and can even help with heat loss. As well as being 90% water, plasma is 7% proteins. Some of these proteins in the blood plasma are involved in defence. These include globulins functioning as antibodies which are used to fight infection and fibrinogen which helps to form clots to seal wounds. To learn more about how blood clots, watch this video. The most important protein in plasma is albumin. Albumin proteins in the blood plasma pull water back into the blood capillary from the surrounding tissues. The albumin in the blood plasma means there is a higher water concentration in the fluid in the surrounding tissues than there is in the blood. This means water is pulled back into the blood from the tissues by osmosis and water moving down its concentration gradient. We say that the albumin maintains the osmotic pressure of the blood. As well as 90% water and 7% proteins, plasma also has important salts and electrolytes, such as sodium and potassium. These are really important in keeping our nerves firing, so they can send messages around the body. Plasma also includes enzymes that catalyse reactions and hormones that regulate body functions. So as well as moving useful substances around the body, Plasma is also involved in getting rid of waste products, like urea. Urea is produced in the liver when excess amino acids are broken down. The nitrogen from the amino acids is converted to ammonia. But this is poisonous, and so we don't want it in our blood. Instead, it's converted again to urea before being released into the plasma. The blood plasma is filtered by the kidneys and the urea is removed from the body in the urine. So, to summarise, the plasma has a range of roles, including maintaining blood pressure, water levels and body temperature. It has a major role in transporting many substances around the body, including hormones, nutrients, gases, waste products and proteins, such as antibodies and enzymes. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.